All right. Welcome to part five. So in part four, we looted that vault and found that we need a rope. And then we talked to a couple people. Not much, though. Um, I did find a, a solution. I was I was swelteringly hot. I've turned on the fan. Um, the way I'm doing audio, I don't think you should hear it. I, I did the first five episodes of my Minecraft playthrough. And um, I noticed that it was completely fucked with uh, com background computer sound. Uh, so I'm doing it a little bit differently, and I'm hoping it works. And I think my computer is honestly louder than my fan, so um, it shouldn't really be that big of an issue. Uh, let's see. Hello again. I hope you're doing well. Is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> Don't you ever go to sleep? I ask immediately after ending our last conversation. <laughs> Uh, okay, don't you ever go to sleep? Well, I take cat naps when you're not around. <laughs> Besides, I find the desert air very invigorating and healthy. Uh, is it though? It's kind of it's kind of totally um, infused with radiation, isn't it? Um, and I never tire of looking at the stars. Can you imagine never seeing a night sky for your entire life? She pauses and looks at you. Oh, I guess you can. Uh, how does she know I was born in a vault? Oh, yeah, thanks. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! We are not done with our chat. Please help me. Okay. Uh, I'd be happy to help you. I, I myself was once like you. Hopefully my knowledge will be useful. Um, okay. Well, this is better. Where can I get some better equipment? Oh, I've already done that one. I was hoping you could tell me where to trade. Um, tell me about this place. Uh, you are standing in Shady Sands. We are but a small town in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert. Oh, stop doing that. Only the raiders give us trouble. Eridesh is our leader. He's in the large central house. Speak to him. Okay, that's more helpful. Rather than just saying south, it is the large central house. So thank you. Um, tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault. Uh, oh, okay, this isn't the same thing. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching. Oh, Fuck. But Dharma was watching over me, and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He's a merchant guard who is hurt. He's recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He's more wildly, widely traveled than I. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, tell, him about, about, tell him about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, crowded it. I think I've already done this one. Yeah, okay. That's all for now. I'm not done yet, though. Uh, I'm looking for a water chip. Seen one? As a matter of fact, yes. My old home, Vault 15. Oh, shit! She was in Vault 15. But as she said, everyone scavenged everything. I haven't been there since I was hurt, but you might find... Oh, God. But you might find what you're looking for there. Someone said that they tried to go to the vault to have a look around, but it was dark and the elevator was broken. I hope you're better prepared. Uh, let's see. That's all for now. And then let's see. I think there's a third option. Oh, no. Okay. Um, and who is that guy? Oh, Seth, right. Is he a peasant? Ugh. Ugh. I don't even want to associate with you. Uh, let's see. What is that? An obelisk? A pillar. The pillar is the showpiece of Sadie Sands Square. It tells, it tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. Okay, like I said, the... My, uh, resolution kind of cuts that off a little bit, so it can be hard to see. Um, so, uh, I guess we'll come down here. We'll, we'll just totally explore Shady Sands. Actually, in saying that, I kind of want to barter with these people, because I think you can do that. What does Tell Me About? Oh, shit! Um, ask about raiders? Does this work? <laughs> oh, shit! Um, rope. Never heard of it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Cancel then. It's barter. What have you got? What is that? Oh, those are caps, I'm assuming? Oh! What, what the fuck? He's got a rope! He's got a, a rope-ass rope. Bottle caps. Well, I have a knife up for sale. Uh, that's worth $40. Um, I also have flares, which I don't really... And I would never use a brass knuckle. I, I, I could definitely sell that. How much does a rope cost? 24. That's eminently affordable. Um, I want to keep my pistol. Rad scorpion meat I don't need. Or rad scorpion tail. 
I'll keep my tool, because I don't know if I'm going to need that. And I'll keep my flares, just because. How much do I want? What's 90 minus 24? All of it? Oh, give me that back then. 80 to 66. Are these both worth 40? Jesus. I mean, I'll, I'll accept that, whatever. Um, how do I offer? Okay, that's a good trade. All right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, I just gave him some shit, and I got fucking rich. All right, let's get out of here. Nothing else, thanks. I normally wouldn't accept that kind of trade, uh, but I don't really have much flexibility without having any caps, so... Okay, so we got our rope. Um, actually, I, I want to chat with you, too. Um, tell me about that stone. That, that obelisk. <laughs> I want to know about that shady sandstone. Can I get anything? What the fuck? What can I ask them about? This is so weird. What do you have? You have a... Oh, shit, you have stim packs. That's unironically good. 90! Fucking 90! Oh my god! I'm not going to be able to afford that. Do you want armor piercing ammo? I probably shouldn't give that. Should I do this? This seems like a very bad idea, actually. 90 plus 112, or 112 minus 90 is 12, uh, 22. 22. Oh, shit. That's the other way. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, hang on. That's wrong. I need to put in 8. I'll offer that. Okay, that's a good trade. Thank you. <sighs> I hope that was worth it. <laughs> Do I, am I going to have to, like, eventually barter with her to get my ammo back? <laughs> that might have been a bad trade, but that's okay. I needed, I needed stim packs. I need stim packs for sure. A stove. A functional wood-burning stove. And a finely crafted clay pot. Very nice-looking bed. Can I use it? Uh, doesn't look like it. Nice to see you. What a nice guy. Ooh, what's that? You see, Scout Handbook. Well, I mean, I'll take it. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I want it. Okay, just making sure I don't miss anything. Um, let's find out. What is the Scout Handbook that's that we've got our hands on now? A book on the methods and ideals of scouting. Very practical information regarding outdoor life. Um, so I can read it? Uh, you read the book and you learn a lot about wilderness survival. Cool. Does that increase my resistances, I'm guessing? That's usually what those things do. Oh, it's late. Let's end this building to the south here. This might be where the leader is. Era dash... I think it's called. Oh, there's someone in here. Uh, we got a functional wood burning stove. We got a bucket. Oh, it's a pot. So we got two folks here. Just making sure I don't miss anything. I can't go back there. That's not allowed. Let's check out this uh, bookshelf. Last time that ended really well for me. Oh, please do not take my things. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't realize. Okay. Ooh, sorry to bo sorry to bother you like that. I didn't. I didn't. You know, I didn't realize that that was going to be an issue. Sorry. I'm kind of up in your space, aren't I? I'll give you a little room. Um, this is Bozen. It's late. Come back in the morning, but I need your help. Are you hurt? Um, not no. You will be if you keep me from my sleep. Now come back in the morning. <laughs> okay, well, message received. Are you going to be a little bit more receptive to your new visitors? 
Oh, Roslo. I thought it said Bozen. That, that, um, oh, Roslo's wife. You'll have to come back in the morning. Please let us sleep in peace. I keep, that resolution mixed with the text is really messing with me. Is that a peasant? Yeah, I think these are all going to be peasants out here. Okay. Oh, well, this is just awkward, isn't it? Why can't I go in there? Is it because of this fucking dog? Jesus. Man, I really wish that these walls would be different. What's going on? Oh! Greetings. Oh my god! Your business in Shady Sands might be... Hi, Eridesh. Um, let's see. I'm from a small village west of here. I'm just exploring and mean you no harm. What's it to ya? My reasons are mine to keep. I'm from a vault to the west. My people are dying of thirst, and I need to find a water purifier to chips for them to survive. I'm saving an entire people from destruction. From destruction. Sadie Sands. Whoop, I'm lost. I'll just be going now. Um, I think I'll be going uh, with the dying of thirst. Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about the other towns around here? Junk That's Town good to know. lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Thanks. I... Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish <laughs> Why to know? Why was I so sheepish? That was weird. Uh, what's going on around oh here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of oh, rad scorpions up, rad are killing our please. herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. I can help you for a price? As Dharma said, those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. What does that mean? <laughs> am I just stupid? Am I am I just stupid? Because I don't know what that means. I know it's hard for you to trust, but I would like to help. Your choice. Can I ask you some more questions? Those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. As in, he doesn't want to pay me? <laughs> oh, God. I feel stupid. Um, I would like to help. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Okay, I'm done. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? Can you tell me about Shady Sands? Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. Wait! Oh, was he saying, like, if I help them? They'll, uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your sort of thing. If you tend to the flock, I'll know you're the shepherd. So is that what he was saying? Like, I thought he was talking about himself. Or is he talking about me? I don't know. Shady Sands is much like a family that when they keeps itself. What kind of things do you the have around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I feel, quite intense this time of year. Gardens are on the south side. Anything we else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Can Certainly. More questions? What do you wish to know? Please hurry and rid us of those rad scorpions. Okay. Well, it looks like I don't get to get a redo on that one. I don't get to talk to Roslo either, because apparently he's like wanting to get his beauty sleep. I'm too busy to talk right now. I got this meal ready. Hmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now, <laughs> this is fucking networking 101, dude. Just go compliment people's cooking. <laughs> Who is that? A busy cook preparing a meal. Wow, okay. It doesn't even get a name. It's fucking mean. Oh, I see a peasant. Oh, that's just a peasant. They don't have anything good for me. Fucking peasants. God, I hate that this fucking camera works like this. I can't see anything. How am I going to explore the game if I can't even fucking see what's behind the walls? So what's over here, then? Does this lead me to... I see an exit grid. 
So the Brahmin pens he said are to the north. So I guess I'd physically have to go up to the north. Is that what I'm understanding? Well, let's go over here. And uh, apparently this might be the guard, Ian, that uh, Katrina mentioned to me. What the fuck's going on here? They got the fucking... They got a hoe down happening. Short stocky man. Okay, let's talk to short stocky man. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? My name's not important. I'm Jonathan. <laughs> okay, good to meet you. I'm Ian. Hey, look who it is. What'd you do here? I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junk Town or the hub to do some trading, since I'm the only person who has really ever left town. Um... Uh, and I think that, yeah, so we are over time. So when we get back, we're going to talk to Ian a little bit more. See what's going on. See what's the news. Not going to deal with mad scorpions. I said I would. I'm not going to. I'm going to do it later. Not right now because I'm going to fucking die. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, have, have a good, good rest of your life. Unless you come back for the next part. Then I'll tell you to have a good rest of your life then as well. So, bye. <laughs>